Hello guys, Andrew Risk here and on this video I will show you how to create video sales letters and create really professional videos for your business or your website and we're gonna take a look here at a software called EasyVSL EasyVSL is really uh, one of the simplest softwares and easiest softwares I have seen for creating uh, video sales letters if you take a look at the sales page for any good product or uh, service online usually you're gonna find a video at the top of the page that explains what this product is all about it's gonna explain uh, more in detail and gonna of course sell you Th this this video is gonna sell the product so that's why it's called video sales letter and for any successful marketer or anyone who wants to sell their products or their stuff online you will usually need uh, a software or program just to help you create this kind of video sales letter for your business the old way of creating video sales letter was to use Microsoft PowerPoint and you have to go and enter your text for each slide and copy your slides and edit the text edit the font and choose a background image or color and you have to do this for all the slides and then you're gonna add animations and extra stuff and you're gonna create your video at the end and after you create your video you have to also add your audio file or music to wrap up the video and to create a good looking uh, presentation video or video sales letter so all of this process takes a lot of time and if you have tried Microsoft PowerPoint before I'm sure you know how long it's gonna take you to create just one video and here I'm gonna show you a really simple uh, software that I've been using to create all my video sales letters and I'm gonna show you here an example as you can see I have created many videos using EasyVSL to create a video I'm gonna click here and usually you have two choices you can start from scratch meaning that you can build your own slides from scratch you can create each slide and add start adding your text and images or the easy way is of course to paste the whole text for example if you have a word document or notepad or any kind of of text file you can easily copy and paste your text as I'm gonna do here so I'm gonna choose the paste text option I'm gonna click OK here you're gonna choose the background color or the style for your video as you can see we have some ready-made backgrounds and you can choose between a uh, fixed color or gradient color for example I can do black and green or just one color like this so for this example I'm gonna choose one of these ready-made templates like this one I'm gonna click next and here you're gonna paste the whole text from any Word document or text file for example I have some text here I'm gonna click copy and paste and before you click next uh, here you're gonna choose where do you want to split your slides and here to split your text into different slides all you have to do is just to add a split mark to the text and your text is gonna be automatically split into new slide at each mark so I'm gonna show you here I got an add splitting mark button here and uh, for example if I want this text to appear on the first slide and this text to appear on the second slide I'm gonna just add a split mark here and for the next slide I want it to end here so I'm gonna add another split mark so it's really easy just you have to point and click where you, you want your slide to end so you can do this for for all of your text until you are done it only take a couple of seconds and then when I'm done I'm gonna click next and on this screen you'll see that my text have been automatically split it into different slides if you want to edit the text you can type your text here if you want to delete slides you can do this as well and when you're done all you have to do is just click next and here you go that's all the slides have been created for me 
with all the text that I have selected. As you can see, it's really simple. And on this step, you can do pretty much anything for your text. You can add your images, you can change the font. For example, you can change the font size. You can bold the text, you can change the style, you can add your colors. You can change the font to this one, for example. And the easiest thing about Easy VSL is you can drag and drop any of the elements, whether it's text or images, to anywhere you want, like this. You can easily drag and drop the text. And you can add an image. I'm going to add an image here, for example, this one. And as you can see, I can drag and drop the image where I want. And here is a secret tip for you if you want to increase or decrease the size for the picture without messing up the dimensions. You can click your shift button and simply move your cursor like this. And this is gonna increase or decrease the size without messing up any of the dimensions. It's not gonna look like like this or like this. It's not gonna look stretchy. So that's just one tip that I, oh, I wanted to share with you. So after I add the text and image, I can move to the next slide and can edit this slide as well. You can also align the text, whether it's horizontally or vertically. So for example, I'm going to edit this font here so you can see. So here is my text at the top of the screen. To align the text, I'm going to click this button here. It's going to align the text in the middle. And this one is going to put the text right in the middle of the of the whole slide. As you can see it's really simple. And you can do this for all of your slides. You have a bulk actions button here and it allows you to apply the same changes to all, all of your slides. For example if I want to align the text for all of your slides you're gonna choose this bulk action button and you're gonna choose any slide like this and align the text is gonna align the text in all of the slide as you can see here it moves it it moves my text from the top to the middle and you can also use the bulk action button to uh, change the slide theme for example we are using this theme here if I want to change the look or the background image I can choose this one and here you go it changed all slides for me can also choose this one and maybe change the color to white for the text. All you have to do is just press the bulk action button again, select your text and change the color to white and now it's gonna look white on this slide. If I want all my text on all the other slides to look white, I'm gonna select the bulk action button and click on this button just to remove the option for the slide theme and I'm gonna choose the bulk action buttons again and on this time I'm gonna choose any slide and click on white color as you can see it changed all the text to white with one click so it's really really simple and uh, one last thing I want to show you here is the slide animation you can also change the animation from slide to slide by default, it's not going to show up any slide animations, but you can, of course, add some animations here, like fade or slide up, slide down. I believe they're going to also add some more animations in the next versions. You can also choose the bulk action button and click on fade, for example, and it's going to select fade animation for all of your slides. You can also choose a different animation for each slide. So in order to do this, I'm going to click my bulk actions button here to remove this bulk actions and I'm going to select uh, my slide. For example, I can go to my first slide, change this to maybe slide left, the second one to slide up, the third one to fade, and the fourth one to slide down. And here you go, each one has a different animation. 
Now I'm gonna take you to the next step where you can change and edit your timeline. As you can see, they have a simple timeline for uh, for your video here. And on this step, you're gonna add your audio file or voiceover for your video. It's really simple to do this. All you have to do is just click add an audio and choose um, a file from here. I have already some music here, so I'm gonna choose this music for example. You can import sound in MP3 or WAV format. So after adding the audio file, the last step is to uh, synchronize or match your audio with your text here. So all you have to do in EasyVSL is just play your sound, listen to your sound or uh, music, and simply click the slides where where you want them to appear while the, the timeline is moving. So I'm gonna show you here an example. You can play the music. And I'm gonna click my text whenever I want them to appear on the timeline. So I'm gonna click the slide now. And as you can see, it, it has been added to the timeline. I'm gonna wait a little bit and then I'm gonna add my next slide. Then I'm gonna add my next slide. You can also zoom in or zoom out the timeline, which is really one of the uh, good features for this timeline. It's like editing your video in one of those video editing softwares. You can also drag and drop the slide. If, for example, you did a mistake you don't want this slide to appear, you can always uncheck the slide and it's gonna disappear or you can add it and then drag it and drop it wherever you want you can also drag and drop the audio file so uh, it's really that simple so all you have to do is just add all of your uh, slides and after we're done I'm gonna add all of them here just for this example then the last step, of course, is to publish your video. So I'm going to click Publish. And here you're going to choose the quality of your video. The best quality is going to take a while to produce your video. Here is a standard or uh, is a high quality. And here is the best quality is going to produce your video in HD format. I have tried some of these video qualities. Uh, it's good to, to create videos in high quality format. That's enough for your video. But if you want your video to be in HD, or the best quality you can choose this option here and you just choose a destination for your video I'm gonna press OK and as you can see here it's gonna start to create my video because I have selected the best uh, or the highest quality format it's gonna take a while to produce my video and it also depends on how many slides or how long your video is but usually it's, it takes around 10 minutes 10 minutes maximum yet to create one of my longest videos but the, the video quality is gonna be really good at the end you're gonna see how it looks like so I paused the video and as you can see here it's almost done it's adding my audio file on the seventh step so here's my video it has been encoded It has changed the slide animation as I have set it up. It was a slide up animation and on this animation it's gonna fade the second slide as I have set this, this slide to show up. Now I'm gonna show you another example of a video that I have created before. I have picked up a different slide theme for my background and I have just made the font to look bold I found that the bold text usually looks better on videos if you can see here usually the bold text looks much professional and uh, good on videos and here on the timeline is how the video looks like as you can see with all the slides and everything as I have mentioned before 
And here is a final look for the video how it's going to look like. Are you struggling to get traffic to your website? Do you promote your own products or affiliate products? Do you want to get more exposure for your site, generate more leads, and sales? If your answer is yes, then you will love what I'm about to show you in this three-minute video. So as you can see here, the slide plays uh, really fine and it matches up with my audio or my voiceover uh, perfectly. I believe you can also add uh, a feature for adding your voice over here. So that's going to be a really uh, cool add-on. And as I mentioned before, you can use this powerful uh, software to create video sales letters for any kind of product launches or uh, even to promote any kind of affiliate products or CPA offers. You can create nice videos and uh, the best thing is it doesn't take a lot of time. At the time you are watching this video, I'm sure there's going to be more features added to the software. So um, I have wrote actually a review about EasyVSL. I'm going to update it whenever there are some new features added to the software. So make sure you click the link below this video. It's going to take you to my review and you can read about the software and learn more if you want. And I hope you find my uh, video useful. This is Andrew and I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you and have a nice day.